Among the many changes that mobile devices have brought in our everyday lives is ubiquitous connectivity. As data on the locations of users and the direction they are headed to have become more important than ever, location-based services are emerging as the latest trend in the tech sector. Office worker Jung Pora launches a smartphone app when she wants a taxi, instead of hailing on the street or calling a taxi service. The app automatically detects her location as a pickup point. All she needs to do is to enter a drop-off point and click the hail button. The app then sends her request to nearby taxis to pick her up. When the driver accepts the request, she can view the car's location, approximate arrival time as well as the driver's name, photo, and license plate number. 2주에 한 번씩 이용하는데 택시 이용할 때는 항상 카카오택시를 이용하고 있어요. After she hops in, she can send information about a ride to friends or acquaintances, including the license plate number and pickup and drop-off points. 기사님께서 어디쯤 오셨는지 알수 있어서 편리하게 이용할 수 있고 안심 메시지를 이용해서 안전하게 이용할 수 있어서 네, 좋은 것 같습니다. E-hailing mobile apps are an example of online to offline or O2O service that uses mobile location data to enable an offline service. The key part of an O2O service is in identifying necessary location data. Location data is a collection of location information about moving people and objects. The first known application of location-based technology was the Global Positioning System, which was developed by the U.S. military in the 1970s to improve the accuracy of bombs. Since the 2000s, GPS has evolved beyond its military origins, helping to deliver everyday content and services like car navigation systems. First, positioning solutions can rely on satellites, base stations of mobile carriers and Wi-Fi networks. Nowadays, more sophisticated methods are being introduced in outdoor and indoor positioning, including Bluetooth, sound waves, beacons and magnetic fields. Second, the widespread use of mobile devices that are equipped with positioning systems like GPS, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth has accelerated the update of location-based technology. Being able to track locations of smartphone users in real time has opened up endless opportunities for service providers. Lastly, location-based technology has found applications across different industries thanks to the growth of relevant services. One of the basic applications is to track and monitor the location of people and objects. From locating friends to tracking the real-time location of children or patients, the technology is used to ensure safety and assist rescue operations. O2O services that connect online and offline are also entering the market. They track the location of shoppers and send offers or coupons for nearby stores to their smartphones. 유치 정보 서비스가 꼭 필요해지는 이유는 GPS를 탑재한 단말기들이 뭐 스마트폰뿐이 아니고 산업 현장에도 굉장히 많이 확산돼 있고 또 모바일 통신 환경이 3G에서 4G로 넘어가는 과정에서 굉장히 급하게 많이 변화를 겪고 있고 또그 과정에 애플리케이션들이 많이 탄생하면서 그 애플리케이션과 스마트폰의 모바일 환경을 수용할 수 있는 그 위치 서비스 콘텐츠, 위치 콘텐츠에 대한 필요성이 굉장히 강화되고 있는 그런 추세입니다. Location-based services, or LBS, encompass all types of services that collect, use, and provide location data. LBS includes positioning technology, a platform to relay location data and services that deliver location-based content to end users. The global LBS market is expected to witness robust growth from 4.1 billion US dollars in 2013 to 12.4 billion dollars in 2016. At the forefront of the market is IT giant Google, which offers a map service to a number of countries. Businesses also capitalize on Google service to launch new services. Facebook, for its part, recommends people who were at the same location where users checked in and is preparing a service that offers information about stores near users' location. The Korean LBS market is seeing steady but disappointing growth. It is heavily skewed towards SMEs than large companies, which is considered as one of the factors hampering the market growth.
위치 정보 서비스 자체가 통신사 인프라를 활용할 수밖에 없었기 때문에 과거에는 통신사가 주로 어, 서비스를 제공하는 상황이었습니다. 그러다가 이제 스마트폰이 보급되면서 어, 중소기업도 이제 서비스 제공이 가능했고요. 어, 그럼에도 불구하고 해외에서는 구글이나 이런 어, 페이스북 같은 거대한 기업들이 위치 정보 서비스의 주요 사업자로서 어, 활동을 하고 있지만 국내 같은 경우는 어, 대부분 통신사를 제외하면 은 어, 영세한 그런 스타트업들이기 때문에 어, 어떤 시장의 활성화라든가 어, 산업의 규모 자체가 아직 크고 있지는 않는 상황입니다. Another factor restraining the market growth is strict regulations, namely the Location Privacy Protection Act. While the US, Europe, and Japan protect personal location privacy, other types of information are not subject to protection. On the other hand, an independent Location Privacy Act mandates the safeguarding of personal and other types of location information. Under the Act, LBS providers should obtain government approval and inform users every time their location data is used. 앞으로 위치 정보 산업이 활성화되고 좀더 서비스가 확대되기 위해서는 법에 대한 개정이 시급한 상황입니다. 우선적으로 위치 정보 활용 및 이용 등의 불편함이 없도록 법을 완화할 필요가 있고요. 또한 앞으로 빅데이터라든가 IoT 등 위치 정보가 활용될 분야가 무궁무진하기 때문에 이런 분야에서 개인의 그런 식별화 정보를 비식별화해서 언제든 이용이 가능하도록 개정이 필요한 상황입니다. But Korea, being an IT powerhouse, can provide a powerful infrastructure for the LBS industry to flourish. For example, it has the highest penetration of smartphones, the most common device used to receive location data. The country is also known for having the fastest broadband in the world, which service providers can use to deliver faster and more accurate services. As the LBS industry is expected to continue its upward trend, there is a growing demand for more sophisticated positioning technologies that can pinpoint locations in small areas and even indoors. With the current technology, GPS doesn't work indoors. The signals sent from tens of thousands of kilometers away are unable to pass through buildings. Beacons can pick up signals indoors, but they should be installed at regular intervals. They also send messages, coupons, or promotions to all shoppers within its range, even to those who may not want them. New technologies are being introduced to send information to only those who need it and enable positioning without a separate device. Drones and autonomous vehicles that are considered the next big things are also based on location data. Commercial GPS has a margin of error of around 20 meters, too large to be useful in autonomous vehicles. High precision positioning is crucial in these applications as it is directly related to safety. 위치 정보 서비스는 앞으로 신기술의 아주 중요한 기술이라고 볼수 있겠습니다. 자율주행 자동차 같은 경우 정확한 위치 정보를 가지고 차량을 자동으로 주행이 가능하고요. 또 증강현실 게임 같은 경우 어, 정확한 위치 정보를 이용해서 내가 있는 곳에서 어, 증강현실 서비스를 받아볼 수 있도록 제공이 가능합니다. 어, 또한 가상현실과도 접목이 가능한데요. 어, 드론이라든가 아니면 은 어, 가상현실을 통한 뭐 화재 진압이라든가 이런 부분들이 어, 정확한 위치 정보를 가지고 실제 가상현실과 어, 실세계를 연동해서 서비스 제공이 가능해집니다. Amid the growth of the LBS market, strong efforts are underway in Korea to develop precision positioning technologies and deliver customized services to consumers. Indoor spaces are becoming increasingly complex, almost maze-like. In general, navigation apps rely on satellite GPS signals, but as they fail indoors, another type of positioning technology is needed inside the building. This has made businesses turn to beacons, Bluetooth-based transmitters that communicate with smart devices that are within 50 meters. Since Apple's launch of iBeacon in 2013, there has been a race towards more advanced beacons. A US news site predicts that the global beacon market will reach $45 million by 2018, a more than tenfold growth from the $4 million in 2015. In particular, beacons are proving effective in O2O service marketing. For example, 
They deliver coupons and promotions for retailers or restaurants when shoppers pass them as they walk around. At the moment, beacon-based location technology is driving the indoor LBS market and is expected to grow by about 46% by 2020. As competition in the market grows fierce, the question now is finding consumers who need information and offer them benefits in a more convenient way. Office workers Hon Adam says she finds beacon services useful. As she enters the supermarket, coupons or special offers are sent to her smartphone. She can receive the information she wants when she needs it. 다른 앱은 이제 매장을 지나가기만 해도 제가 방문하지 않았을 때도 약간 스팸성 메시지로 되게 번거롭게 많이 오는데 야맵 같은 경우에는 제가 원하는 매장에 방문했을 때만 제가 원하는 쿠폰을 줘서 편리한 것 같아요. Yap is a mobile app based on Yap company's own beacon technology. The company is leading the Korean O2O market with the country's first beacon-based commercial solution. Unlike existing beacons that rely on low-power Bluetooth technology, Yap company's hybrid beacon technology also uses high-frequency waves. 음파라고 보시면 되고요. 현재 문을 닫고 있을 경우에는 문 밖으로 사운드가 나가기가 힘듭니다. 왜냐하면 이 투과를 못 하기 때문에 타사 같은 경우는 이제 BLE 비콘을 쓰다 보니까 BLE는 이제 투과 벽을 투과하는 성질이 있는데 저희는 이제 사운드 비콘이 있기 때문에 그 사운드 특징은 이 폐쇄된 공간 하나 안에서는 이 안에서만 반응을 할수 있게끔 반사가 되기 때문에 실내와 실외를 구분할 수 있습니다. But why the need to distinguish indoor space from outdoor space? Bluetooth-based beacons randomly send out signals to shoppers within 70 meters of the store. But for those who do not want such messages, they could be considered spam. Yap's hybrid beacon uses high-frequency waves to locate shoppers who are actually in a given space. 저희 Yap 컴퍼니 같은 경우에는 실내와 시기, 실외를 구별하는 부분들을 굉장히 중요하게 생각합니다. 어떤 서비스를 고객들에게 전달할 것인가에 대한 문제이거든요. 정확한 정보를 고객들에게 전달하는 사항들이 떨어지다 보니까 어, 정보의, 정보를 받아들이는 고객 입장에서 스팸이다라고 인식되는 경우가 많고요. Another advantage of the hybrid beacon is convenience. The app can work without Bluetooth because signals are picked up by the smartphone mic. 사운드 쪽에서는 블루투스 없이도 그 고객의 마이크, 휴대폰에 있는 마이크를 통해서 신호를 수신하기 때문에요. 저희가 블루투스 없이도 충분히 서비스가 가능하고요. Yap Company plans to incorporate beacon technology into different areas such as traffic and finance and looks to gain access to overseas markets. 이런 기술 기반의 회사들이 바라볼 수 있는 시장은 국내뿐만 아니라 글로벌도 같은 관점에서 바라볼 수 있기 때문에 글로벌 시장 전체를 저희가 타겟으로 바라보고 시장을 확대해 나갈 계획에 있습니다. Another company that is quickly capturing the attention of the global indoor LBS market is IDECA. IDECA's technology uses the Earth's magnetic field, known as the geomagnetic field, to provide accurate indoor positioning. 지구자기장이라는 것은 지구상에 어디나 존재하는 그런 어, 자연적인 현상이기 때문에 그 현상을 이용하면 비용을 들이지 않고 정확한 위치를 측이할 수 있기 때문에 저희는 지구자기장에 집중을 했습니다. The Earth creates magnetic fields, which are distorted by metal structures such as rebar and steel beams. IDECA developed a high-precision indoor positioning system that detects distortions in the geomagnetic field to map an indoor space and highlight the location of smartphone users on the map. The system calculates location data using a sensor embedded in smartphones. 자기장 센서, 가속도 센서, 자이로 센서 등으로 대부분 구성이 되어 있습니다. 그 센서들이 어, 요즘 웬만한 스마트폰에는 다 들어가 있습니다. 그 중에 저희는 특히 이제 지구 자기장을 측정할 수 있는 자기장 센서를 활용해서 자기장 값을 수집하고 자기장 값 수집된 자기장 값을 기반으로 위치를 파악하는 그런 개발을 하고 있습니다. Advances in smartphone technology have fueled the development of geomagnetic field positioning technology. IDECA expects the technology will transform our daily lives when it reaches a wider audience. The largest change would be the emergence of services that are customized to the tastes and preferences of individuals. To make this happen, however, one challenge remains. 논밭같이 변화가 없는 곳에서는 어, 자기장도 변하지 않기 때문에 위치측이 하는데 문제가 있고요. 지하철 플랫폼 같이 이렇게 지하철을 왔다 갔다 하면 이제 자주 자기장이 바뀌는 곳에서도 역시 문제가 있습니다. 
This led IDECA to explore Dead Reckoning, a positioning technology that calculates one position by considering distance and directional information. When applied, it could accurately determine positions, irrespective of changes in the magnetic field. The company is also looking to incorporate GPS-based outdoor positioning solutions. It believes that services supporting both indoor and outdoor positioning will be a major trend in location-based technology. 한국 같은 경우는 지하 주차장 같은 곳이 많은데 지하 주차장에 들어오면 일단 GPS가 안 되기 때문에 자율주행을 하기 위한 상당히 많은 다른 요소들이 필요해지게 됩니다. 하지만 지구 자기장을 이용하게 되면 굉장히 효율적이고 저렴한 비용으로 이런 문제들을 해결해 나갈 수 있습니다. Today, people spend more than 90% of their time indoors. Indoor LBS technology is improving by leaps and bounds, and its convergence with sophisticated outdoor positioning solutions is unlocking a world of possibilities. While popular indoor location technologies include beacons and magnetic field energy, Outdoor positioning techniques are typified by the Global Navigation Satellite System, or GNSS, that uses satellite signals. The most well-known GNSS is the U.S.'s GPS. Once reserved for military and aviation use, it is now widely available following the broad adoption of smartphones and automotive GPS solutions. To enable accurate pinpointing of places, it is important that smartphones receive accurate location data. The National Geographic Information Institute in Suwon, Gyeonggi-do Province, has installed GNSS control points across the country to process satellite signal data. Satellite control points receive a multitude of satellite signals and transmit them to the central station for analysis and processing. Signals received from a number of satellites may have low accuracy. The central station analyzes and processes a slew of data sent from control points to transmit the most accurate signals to users. 고정국인 위성 기준점에서 위성 신에 대한 보정 신호를 생성하고 사용자인 이동국은 이를 수신하여 측량점의 위치 정확도를 향상시킵니다. 인터넷 통신만 가능한 환경이라면 어디에서든지 네트워크 RTK 보정 신호를 수신이 가능하며 높은 정확도의 측량 성과를 확보가 가능합니다. Currently, Korea has 60 satellite control points nationwide, which allow for accuracy enhancement for location data. High precision data obtained from these control points are provided to car and air navigation systems. 자율주행차, 드론, 항공기, 무인 농기계, 무인 건설 중장비 등 다양한 분야에서 활용이 가능하며 향후 ITC 기술과 접목하여 3월 인터넷 등과 융합하여 새로운 활용 분야가 창출될 것으로 기대하고 있습니다. GPS data has multiple applications across industries, including IT and construction. Its level of accuracy depends on how it is processed. Recently, the Korea Aerospace Research Institute, or CADI, and the Ministry of Land, Infrastructure and Transport have unveiled a GPS with a margin of error within one meter, a first of its kind in the world. 일반적으로 아무런 가공 없이 단독으로 받으면 한 20m 오차가 나요. 기준국에서 사용자한테 어 당신이 받은 신호는 이 정도 오차가 있습니다. 오차 정보를 주는 거예요. 그렇게 하면 3m 이내로 오차 확 줄어들어요. 그래서 대부분 일반적으로 많이 사용을 했어요. 그런데 차로 구분에 상당히 적용하기 어려워요. Among data collected from control points, CADI's new technology uses carrier signals that has a short period and therefore high accuracy to keep the margin of error to the minimum. 단속발 쓰는 건 어려운 기술이에요. 일단 신호가 좀 약해요. 코드는 좀 강인한 반면 단속발 신호를 쓰면 약하고 끊어짐도 발생을 하기도 하고 그런 특성이 좀 있어요. 정밀한 대신 수학적으로 풀기 어려운 알고리즘이 들어가 있어요. 기술적으로 좀 어려운 거죠. 
As a result, the accuracy is 250 times higher than existing GPS solutions. Developed for car use, Cadi's ultra-precision GPS technology is expected to find applications in the auto industry, for example, in autonomous vehicles. GPS-based location data is not only embedded in autonomous cars, but also used in the production of high-precision digital maps that enhance the safety of autonomous cars. Self-driving cars require high-definition maps that can tell them where lanes, road stripes, traffic signs, and traffic lights are. These pieces of information allow the car to drive safely. The Spatial Information Research Institute at the Korea Land and Geospatial Informatrix Corporation has developed a dynamic 3D map that combines stationary objects, such as roads and lanes, moving objects including pedestrians and cars, with traffic volume and weather conditions. The sensor is in the same way that 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 the sensor is in the same way to produce a digital map, a vehicle with positioning equipment mounted on the roof drives through streets, collects information about geographical features, and marks their 3D coordinates. As the GPS detects location, radars and lidars fire hundreds of thousands of laser beams per second to collect data along a path. Installed on the inner side of the car, an inertial measurement unit collects location data in tunnels where GPS signals cannot reach. The collected data is mapped and digitally visualized to create a 3D map detailing the curves and elevation of roads. With high-definition digital maps, the margin of error in pinpointing locations is within 10 centimeters much smaller than the 1 to 3 meters of existing navigation systems. Digital map is a range of 70 centimeters. But the range of the road is a range of 70 centimeters. So, the range of the road is a range of 70 centimeters. So, the range of the road is a range of 70 centimeters. So, the range of the road is a range of 70 centimeters. So, the range of the road is a range of 70 centimeters. 5cm 위치 정보가 그 다음에 이동하는 물체에 대해서는 10cm 이내의 정확도를 확보할 수 있는 이런 고정밀 지도를 제작하고 있습니다. From control points and GPS to high definition maps, various research activities are taking place to improve precision in outdoor location-based services and support applications across different fields, including driverless cars, drones, and aviation. LBS is a growing market with widening applications from personalized ads to maps for autonomous vehicles. In tomorrow's hyper-connected world, every data will be collected, analyzed, and shared, and AR and VR will have become mainstream. LBS will lay the groundwork to make this future a reality.